The other part of it is, again, you know, she's the Istanbul bureau chief. What happens to her if she writes an article critical of Turkey's occupying policies? Maybe they don't let her back in. Um, I think there are many journalists and analysts who sacrifice quality of coverage to be able to stay in a country like Turkey mm. and do their reporting. Um, you have personal experience with what happens when you don't do that. And I mean, Turkey is the number one, or maybe it's number two now, but still up there. They're one of the top jailers of journalists in the world. There is very little free media there. The free media that exists there is constantly persecuted. So I think part of it's about keeping access. Yeah, no, I agree with you. And it's actually something that I've witnessed specifically from the more smarmy up their own our side of conflict journalism, the Vulture Club Facebook group types. Not everyone there is bad, but they kind of congregate often in that, you know, and they're, they're people that, first of all, they sneer at the idea of Kurds fighting for their own freedom. They sneer at the idea. I don't know why they don't sneer at the idea of it happening with Syrian groups, but they seem to sneer at it happening when uh, the Kurds fight for some kind of freedom in Turkey. So I've been around these people. They sneer at that firstly, and this is before all the fuckery with like everyone getting sent to prison. And now it's like, firstly, the, the ones that are more wealthy, they have money invested in the country. Now, this isn't some conspiracy or anything like that. It's just the way it is. You know, you set roots somewhere, you start spending money, you rent an apartment, you might even buy somewhere. And, you know, you don't want to just up and leave. I understand that. I get it. And then other people like, Carlotta Gore might have their family there I don't know like I imagine you know she works for the New York Times she's an Istanbul bureau chief she makes a fucking fortune trust me they always asking for money on their website they got loads of money going through that system so there's a lot of incentive there for someone like Carlotta Gould to want to stay there. There's a lot of journalists that have a culture there. Before all the uh, the crackdowns, you know, before 2015, the culture in Istanbul for journalists was excellent, specifically war journalists. They could go there, they could get drunk, they could take their drugs, they could fuck, they could do what they wanted, and then they could very quickly go and cover the wars in the Middle East. Like, it didn't take a long time to get there, right? It takes like an hour or some shit to get to Syria, basically. So mm -hmm. it, it was a very comfortable life life for a lot of people so a lot of people don't want to suddenly go right okay i have to uproot my life now and they want to and they, they kind of toe the line now there's there's avoiding turkey and just living there and covering other things i know a guy that works he lives in turkey he doesn't cover turkey he just uses it as his base and you know he does some good reporting in syria and elsewhere still but then there's doing what this is which is literally this is securing your place in turkey by basically bowing to the government i don't see it as any other way like Frankly, I, I think that is cowardice as a reporter to do that. If you don't want to go to prison, either leave or, you know, I don't know, just fucking yeah. don't report on the place.